I literally don't know why I don't sit here more often. This is like pure comfort. Well, oh, oh, this this is fun. Um, that's that's nice. So this isn't a comfort reason. This is more aesthetic purposes because um, well we're, we're starting to paint. These uh, videos are probably going to be shot at various points in my flat. You might find one uh, on the loo. Who knows? Don't quite know why I said that. Let's wrap this up. Let's go. What's up guys, it is Matt here from Sophisticated Obsession and today we are back with another fragrance video. This fragrance video has been, it's been on the back burner for the best part of about six months. This is a video that was actually requested to me and was uh, and was gifted to me. One of my mates has basically said, I want you to do a fragrance video on a budget fragrance. So, Swin, I'm gonna do that for you today. So he thought it would be absolutely hilarious for me to do a fragrance video of Poundland's King in Million. Now I've got the receipts just here. As you can see, it is a pound plus some pear drops. I didn't get the pear drops though. Rude. So without further ado, let's roll the beat roll. So when I received this from him, um, I was slightly perplexed, but also kind of intrigued as to what a pound fragrance would smell like. Now, I know that a pound isn't a great deal of money. However, um, is it actually worthwhile going out to Poundland to then pick up one of these fragrances? That's what we're gonna discover today. So before we get into the video, what is King in Million? King in Million is a spoof of the very well-known fragrance from Paco Rabanne, One in Million. One in Million? One Million, no, One Million. Paco Rabanne's One Million. This is King in Million. Oh my God, this is so confusing already. As you can tell, this is like a direct spoof. You can tell from the name, you can tell from the packaging. Without further ado, let's get into trying this fragrance. Is that plastic or is that glass? I think it's glass. The, the cap is plastic. <sighs> to be fair, that's a good atomizer. Okay, so in the top notes, instantly you get quite a sweet note coming through. There's, I wanna say like a little bit of like tonka or something in the background. This fragrance is very designery. I know that that's not very descriptive. It's something that I think a lot of people, they won't turn their nose up at it. I don't think it's gonna be an epic compliment getter, but it's quite fresh. There is a synthetic smell to this. There is that sort of sharpness that you get from the uh, the perfumer's alcohol. That is very sharp. Like as soon as you spray it, you're a bit like, whew, get the antidote please guys. I am worried about the longevity. Spraying it to having like literally it being on my skin for about two minutes. And it's starting to sort of break down a little bit. I'm gonna leave this for half an hour. Hopefully it lasts half an hour on my skin so we can then sort of work out what the heart notes of this fragrance is. Graceful. <laughs> okay, so it's been around about half an hour since I sprayed this. The sweetness and that sort of spicy, tonkery sort of note in the background, that's actually still there. Quite surprisingly, actually, it's still quite strong. There is still that really synthetic something in the background. I do feel that this is starting to become more of a skin scent. So um, I will check back with you in another half an hour. Usually I would allow for there to be a little bit more room for this to then go into the uh, into the base notes. However, with this, I just don't think we're gonna get there. Hopefully, I am proved wrong, and it might be that, um, that yeah, this lasts me all day. It's not, though. Right, I will see you in half an hour. Boom. 
Boom. Right, bass notes. So as suspected, it's a little bit over uh, an hour since I sprayed this and yeah, it's pretty much a skin scent now. You've got to really search for the scent. It's just a little bit like a woodsy scent now. There's a slight amount of like sweetness or vanilla. The vanilla does smell quite synthetic. Right, so now we get into the rating of this fragrance. First of all, we have the packaging. The packaging to this is really bog standard. The box, it is just a cardboard box. There's like a cardboard box divider in here for some reason. It doesn't make the, uh, the, the bottle move in the box, but I just kind of think, well, why not just make a smaller box then? On the back, you've then just got the ingredients that goes into this scent. The bottle, it is glass, but the cap is uh, a very, very lightweight plastic. The atomizer, however, is probably its best feature. That yields an enormous amount of juice. <laughs> oh my god, that went in my mouth. Uh. Definitely keep the bottle, if you can, try and unscrew it, because the atomizer is really, really good. Overall, it's very, very bog standard packaging. There isn't really that much thought that has gone into it, so it doesn't get a point for its packaging. Next up, we come to performance. The performance to this, again, isn't great. It starts out very loud and brash and just Wah! in your face and then it sort of dies very, very quickly. It is an eau de toilette concentration, so I understand that there is gonna be less perfume oil in this, but I would say that it gives you probably about 20 minutes of good projection, and then after that, it just dies. Having said that though, it's a pound. Maybe even put it just in your car and like in your glove box, just to then have like a quick freshen up. You could even use it as like, a bit of an air freshener. However, for a fragrance that you put on at the start of the day, it is not going to last you until the end of the day. In fact, it might not even last you to the end of your commute. So it does not get a point for its performance. Okay, next up we have target audience. This is a masculine scent. There is a masculine designer quality in the background here. I actually think that this would be a great scent for somebody who is just starting out in fragrancing. When you're trying out fragrances, the last thing that you want to do is invest a shed load of money into then um, buying a scent that a month down the line you go, actually, fragrancing really isn't for me. I'm, I'm really not that into it. And then you've wasted like 70 or 80 quid buying a designer fragrance when, to be honest, this could just do the trick. There is still a purpose of this fragrance, so I'm gonna give it half a point. Maybe I'm just being kind, but I'm gonna give it half a point for its target audience. Next up, we come to the versatility. So where and when could you wear this fragrance? I don't think that there is a specific season, actually. I think that, that is something that this fragrance does very well. There is a nice amount of tonka, which gives it a little bit of body, which then means that you can wear it in the colder months when you might want to then have a bit of a stronger scent to then cut through that cold air. But also in the summer, there is a freshness about this that I kind of think you could wear in the summer. For where you would wear this scent in an office, yep, this would work quite nicely. The good thing about having a very weak projection is that you are not gonna run the risk of smoking somebody out. The last thing that you then want if you are in an office is to then be sat next to somebody who is absolutely reeking of aftershave. Also, I think that this works as a daytime scent, just before you go to the shops, just a quick splash, boom. I can't believe it, but I'm gonna give it a point for its versatility. Wow. Okay, and next we come to the uniqueness. It's not unique. It's very generic. When you smell this, you kind of smell a fragrance that you have smelt before, it's safe. So I'm not gonna give it a point for its uniqueness. So overall, that gives King in Million a one and a half 
out of five. I'm actually, um, I'm kind of surprised at how well it's done in my rating. When I was thinking about it, I was like, yeah, this is going to get like no points. It might get a half a point if it's lucky. And then actually when I was talking about it and running through it, I was kind of thinking, oh, actually, yeah, it does do quite well for the, certainly for the versatility. It is what it is. It's a pound fragrance. I will warn you, it is pungent. It is very synthetic, but it's fresh and it gets the job done. Right, there we go guys. So that is my budget fragrance review. So I hope you enjoyed it and thank you very much, Mr. Swin, for uh, telling me to do this. As always, please hit us up on Instagram to see what we are getting up to on a day-to-day -day basis. And if you have not done so already, hit that big subscribe button. Have a great day, guys, whatever you are doing and stay safe. See you later. Bye. <laughs>